Peace and greetings, everyone. Wanted to show you guys a new GPS GNSS antenna module I just received from the amazing people at Rayax uh, Technology Corporation. Um, I've been looking for a new GPS because I have shown you guys um, a previous GPS. I've shown you guys a previous GPS on uh, the Cypher box. Um, it's this uh, tiny GPS here, um, but I was looking to upgrade um, the GPS for the next version of the Cypherbox. And the next version um, should have quite a lot of new updates and be more of like a sandbox development board. Uh, but to do that, I needed a much stronger GPS. And the GPS was honestly just a few different functions. Um, also, if the individual wanted to plug the cipher box into, um, let's say like a Windows computer, also use um, some pretty cool software too and get even more analysis out of that. Um, so I wanted to check out um, something very uh, cool. So as you can see, made in Taiwan. And it's a really cool um, GPS because there's uh, multiple ways you could use it. Um, it comes with this uh, JST uh, connection, um, but also you can um, put in uh, pins here, which is what I'm going to do, um, because then you can add it to um, a PCB like this. Um, so when I get my next PCB done through um, PCB way, um, we're going to change up the design. And um, what's cool is that um, this is still very uh, has still has a very small um, footprint. Um, and what's also really cool is that uh, there's no um, IPEX connector for an antenna. Um, so very uh, small footprint and honestly looks really cool. And with the next version, I can make uh, the PCB blue um, to match this and match the SD card as well. Um, yeah, so you can go to their documentation so you could see uh, the pin layout. Um, I'll put some links down below. Um, but right now we're going to do the first test with uh, the serial connection. Um, they have um, an application they recommend to use, um, but what if you, know, you want to um, just use a serial connection and also create your own applications off of that. Um, like this, um, I, have, I have a screen, so I'll be displaying serial uh, data um, to the screen. So um, I went to their site, which I'll show you uh, really soon, and um, easily just plug this in. It's a pretty straightforward connection. Um, you have the power, ground, and then RX, oops, RX and then TX. So if you go to their site, you can see more information on this uh, GPS. And they have uh, some helpful documents. They have the data sheet. So this is where you'll go to find uh, more information on it. And also the pin layout. And they let you know uh, everything you need to know. Um, this is a three volt device. And then here they have a field test, which shows you how to use it uh, with their software. And you can also get this uh, converter to plug it in via USB. And uh, on a next video, I'll be showing you how to use the software and um, you won't have to use a serial monitor. So I plugged in the GPS to the ESP32. And when it blinks green, that means that we're getting information. So I have uh, this script that I wrote in Arduino. And it's a pretty simple script that I'll put into my GitHub. Um, but here, you now get uh, all the information. So I have it being logged the time, latitude, longitude, altitude, and the number of satellites. And it can be very helpful for a lot of other applications. 
Uh, I'm gonna make a PCB, um, like one of these things, um, with uh, this ESP32. And I usually use uh, PCB Way because they're um, really quick, easy, and cheap, and good customer service. <clears throat> so I'm going to um, make a device uh, that has the GPS and um, the ESP32 will be able to communicate with Wi-Fi and I also have from um, Rayx some LoRa modules that we can test with that as well. So once you uh, get your code going and your ESP32, pretty much good to go.